Good evening guys, Lexus Driver here. Welcome to a brand new video. On this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, two brand new um, two brand new vans that are becoming that are coming to uh, the Lexus lineup and also the new uh, van that's coming into the Toyota lineup. Uh, these these vehicles are sold exclusively in the Asian market, uh, but um, for, my, uh, for my American viewers who are watching this video, um, I'm pretty sure these, these cars look pretty cool. It would have been pretty cool if these vehicles were actually sold in uh, the United States, but unfortunately, uh, if this was sold in America, I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive to get these vehicles, but I find these are pretty cool. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about the, the brand new Lexus LM and the new Toyota Alphard. Now... <clears throat> Uh, the, these vehicles, uh, these all, uh, these brand new vehicles, uh, these vehicles are only going to be sold as a hybrid model. Uh, so um, uh, no more gasoline models of these vehicles. So it's a pure hybrid vehicle. So uh, basically, you have the engine and the electric motor battery. So first part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the Lexus LM, which is the luxury version of the Toyota Alphard. Uh, I mean, like um, uh, both the Toyota Alphard and the Toyota Velfire, but the Toyota Velfire, uh, we don't have that vehicle here in the Philippines. So the only vehicle that uh, we have that's very luxurious in a van is the Toyota Alphard. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the Lexus LM. Uh, I've, um, uh, uh, I've uh, Everything's all loaded up, so that way there's no other problems. So... Um, this is this is really what the initial design will look like. This is what the design will look like. It's similar to the Alphard, only a bit more like only much more luxurious than the Alphard. So, yeah, this is the this is the rear, and uh, here's here's some exterior and interior pictures. Uh, so this is what the exterior looks like. Um, also the sides. It, I would say the Lexus LM. This is uh, this is a much luxury version of any other uh, vehicle in the L lineup. Uh, well, Lexus lineup, but the L segment. You know, the L segment. You have the the Lexus LS, the Lexus LX, and the uh, Lexus LC. The Lexus LM. I would say this is the this is a very much more luxurious uh, Lexus vehicle. So yeah, I'll show you guys the. Now I'm going to show you guys the interior now. For now, uh, the Lexus LM, uh, they, they've only announced the, uh, the, the, uh, the four-seater model, uh, but um, I really hope that the Lexus LM has a seven-seater model just like its predecessor, uh, because the four-seater model, I would say this is exclusively for those who like to be chauffeured around, and, and also um, it's meant for business purposes. So... For now, they've announced the uh, the four seater model. I really hope there's a seven seater model. Uh, if there is, then it's it's going to be a lot like their predecessor. But for now, this is the four seater model. Really excited to see what the seven seater model will look like. So, four seater that's the driver, front passenger, and and the second row occupants. Whereas the seven pa uh, seven seater model uh, that includes the um, that includes the driver, the front passenger, and also. Um, uh, five more seats in the back, which includes a third row seats, uh, which includes third row seats, which which is really good for the families. But for the four passenger model, for for the, for the four seater model, uh, this one it's exclusively for those who are going on business trips or like to be chauffeured around. So this is uh, another interior. This is uh, this is still in the rear seats. You have a you have you have the partition like uh you have the big screen I'll show you guys the big screen later on but you have a nice partition along with uh, what you normally find in in a in a limousine so yeah and also here's um yeah so yeah really meant to be chauffeured I mean like. Uh, <laughs> This is like uh, this is like why the Lexus LM is the most luxurious vehicle in the Lexus lineup. Now here's the um, now here's where the the driver and front passenger seat. Um, this uh, this one uses the same design as their as their as their other brand new Lexus vehicles. That includes the Lexus NX, the Lexus uh, RX, and various future uh, Lexus models like the Lexus GX, the Lexus LBX, and the Lexus TX. So it's um, it's it's a very nice and comfy uh, interior, uh, even though you um, even though you're the driver or the front passenger sitting there. Uh, 
Um, the transmission on this vehicle, it's the same. Um, it's it's the Prius-like transmission. Uh, yeah, um, I find this is like one of the coolest interiors in the Lexus LM. Though, even though it's not too luxurious, it's still a very luxurious vehicle to drive. Uh, so, I would say... I, w I would just keep my view that the Lexus LM, it's uh, meant to be both driven and, and meant to be chauffeured if you go for the four-passenger model, I mean four-seater model, but uh, really looking forward to seeing what the seven-seater model will look like, if there's going to be a seven-seater. Yeah, pretty comfy, but... Uh... <laughs> So uh, it has the same it has the same technologies as what they had uh, in um, in their previous generation Alfred, only much more advanced and whatnot. Uh, yeah, climate concierge uh, similar to that on the Lexus LS. And uh, this is and believe it or not, this is actually what your what what the screen will look like if you get the four seater model. It's it's a panoramic uh, it's a panoramic screen. So I would say the screen is divided, like one half will be for the passenger who sits on the left and the other half will be uh, for where the, when the, where the passenger sits on the right. So I'd say that's how the panoramic um, uh, screen will look like. But all in all, it's one of the coolest vehicles uh, Lexus has introduced. It'll be introduced, uh, this, this will come into the market in uh, uh, late 2023, but yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, that's that's it for the Lexus LM. I'm gonna go and discuss the uh, Toyota Alford. So, uh, by the way, uh, and also let me know in the comments down below how do you feel? Uh, what do you think about these vehicles, the uh, Lexus LM? Um, like, you know, uh, would you consider this to be a very luxurious vehicle than the Alford? Just let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys are interested in checking out uh, these uh, these websites, I will I will link these in the description below. Um, both of these uh, websites, uh, the Lexus and Toyota, both of these are from the Philippines. So on this, so here this is the all new Toyota Alford. So as you guys can see here, all new Alford HEV. So this is um, this vehicle will, will be sold exclusively as a hybrid model. So um, this is the brand new design of the Toyota Alford. Um, this is, I would say, this is how Lexus uh, uh, redesigned their brand new uh, Lexus LM because the Lexus LM it's actually based off of the Toyota Alford. So this is um, this is what the he uh, this is what the exterior looks like. Um, uh, so uh, redesigned exterior, the headlights and the taillights. And as you can see, the price is pretty ridiculous, uh, 5, 000, uh, uh, 500 million, uh, 5 million pesos. So yeah, this is the exterior. Um, redesigned headlights and a redesigned front grille. And this is the best picture I can find for the uh, for the interior of the Lexus uh, uh, of the Toyota Alford uh, for the driver and front passenger seat. So. I can see that the steering wheel is a com is a complete redesign. Um, also the um, also the dashboard and the center console, and I would say the transmission here looks a lot like uh, what you find in the Toyota Prius. Um, yeah, uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, more pictures of this uh, of this vehicle. Pretty cool. Uh, really looking forward. So yeah, these are the captain's chairs. Uh, a lot of what you find on. Um, on the Toyota Alford, and I'm pretty sure the Toyota Alford also has the seven-seater model. So this is the rear. Um, that includes, like, you know, the trunk, the rear door, etc. So these are the pictures of the Toyota Alford. These are the best pictures uh, uh, that's uh, that I could find here in the um, in the Toyota website. So. Um, yeah, this is this is uh, this is the uh, the front grille, the uh, as as stated, um, very very nice, really good looking. I I feel like Lex, I feel like Toyota has uh, put a lot of hard work into redesigning this vehicle, um, and also this is the best pic. Uh, this one's the best picture uh, on the uh, on on the Toyota Alford. Um, this one's my favorite view of looking at the uh, Toyota Alford. Uh, this is. Um, 
uh, left left uh, left quarter view, like um, yeah. So I, I, I think uh, I think when they redesigned the Toyota Alphard, uh, the only part of the Toyota Alphard that still stays the same, I would say it's the tail light, but but I could be wrong. But I, w I would say Toyota has put a lot of hard work into redesigning this um, uh, this Toyota Alphard. So um, these are these are basically some more interior pictures. Well, for the captain's chairs, as you guys can see, the captain's chairs have the um, have the uh, have the controls uh, on on the chair itself, like what you find in um, um, what you find in the um, uh, like you know BMW, Mercedes, Land Cruiser. So these are the controls for the captain's chairs. So you, you guys can see here HEV and yeah, so Alfred hybrid electric vehicle. And here's a good view of the of the shifter. So this is so the Toyota Alfred, this is what your shifter will look like. This is a lot like the um the shifter looks a lot like um uh, what you find in the Toyota Prius. And the captain's chairs uh, has also uh, digital controls, uh, but I would say this is mostly for climate and audio. And this is this is your this is the moonroof on the Toyota Alphard, a panoramic view, but uh, pretty cool if uh, pretty cool uh, having the controls there, like you know, uh, so you can reach up and control, like you know, um, I think it's. Uh, I think it's I think it's probably like you know uh, some more audio controls and whatnot, but pretty cool. Uh, I really like the I really like the um, the uh, um, the roof of this vehicle. So yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I have for this video on on the Lexus LM and the Toyota Alphard. If you guys are if like I said, I'll keep my word. If you guys are really interested in checking these vehicles out, I will link these in the description below. So um, yeah, um, and also don't forget to comment down below what are your thoughts about these vehicles. Um, I know that um, most of my viewers who are from the United States who checked out these vehicles are like uh, pretty amazed about these vehicles, but. Um, I mean, I could say the same that these vehicles are pretty cool, but it's pretty unfortunate uh, they don't. Uh, these vehicles are only sold exclusively uh, to the Asian market. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and for all of you viewers, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.